Hey guys, my name is Jacinda J and welcome to my channel and my first ever video. My channel is going to be focused on teaching and showing you how to do makeup on other people. There are so many YouTubers nowadays that do beautiful makeup on themselves, but not too many focus their channel on teaching you how to do makeup on other people. I am here to fill that gap. A lot of my videos are on real paying clients in which I did the makeup that they wanted. It truly doesn't get more real than this. Other videos will be on friends, family, and volunteers, so I can also get a chance to do more creative makeup as well. I hope you enjoy today's world of makeup as much as I do, and I hope you can take something away from my videos, whether you are an aspiring makeup artist or just wanting to learn for yourself. Cheers to video number one. So as you can see here, I have primed and set her eyes to get ready to do eyeshadow. This client has already cleansed, moisturized, and we primed her entire face. I always start working with the eyes first and only putting foundation there rather than the whole face like most people are used to. There's two reasons for this. As a makeup artist, you are always touching their face, lifting their brows, etc. This would ruin the foundation base if you were to have done that first. Second, eyeshadow fallout. You don't have to worry about fallout ruining anything if there's nothing to ruin. For these reasons, it's best to do foundation last. I do it this way on myself personally as well. This bride wanted a classic bridal style shadow with purples. A classic bridal shadow is usually where it is light, usually shimmer, on the inner part of the eye and darker mattes on the outside and in the crease. Kind of like a half cut crease without the harshness of the actual cut crease. As you can see, I am going back and forth between brushes to blend and then diffuse, solely using darker shades as we get lower in the crease and then bringing the darkest shade to the outer corner. Here I am using different shadow pans from Coastal Scents. The inner shimmer shadow is Morphe. Once you start working on the color that's going on the actual lid, you now pat the eyeshadow on instead of blend like I am doing here. Once you have the lid color on, you now need to blend it with the rest of the shadow, paying close attention to the blend on the outer corner. It is always really pretty when some of the shimmer goes slightly into the darker corner and vice versa. So here I am going back and forth between blending and depositing more color. One valuable trick when you are applying eyeliner is to lift their eyelids so that you can get it as close to the lash line as possible. Depending on how fast your product dries, I recommend advising your client to keep their eyes closed after you pull away so that it can dry. If proper drying time is not allowed, it can lead to a line of eyeliner getting in their crease and onto your beautiful shadow. I always like to start brows off with brushing them out. I use Morphe's Brow 8 palette on almost all of my clients. Unfortunately, it looks like they no longer sell that palette. I will probably cry when mine runs out, as that is what I use on myself as well. But that palette was simply just brow colored eyeshadows. You can just use eyeshadows as well. Most clients don't want super carved out brows. So here I am just slightly cleaning up rather than carving them out with LA Girls Concealer. Now I am going in highlighting the face with concealer. This bride did not want super heavy coverage so I put concealer first and then foundation around it to keep it from getting too heavy. If a client wants heavier coverage I will put foundation everywhere first and then highlight with concealer on top of that. Here I am doing what is called the camo technique, using various shades, in this case two, to match her perfect color. This can also be used if you made a mistake and put too light or too dark foundation on. Just dot the opposite color to create the perfect shade. It really saves you from that oh shit moment. Don't worry, most mistakes are totally fixable. Next is simply just a powder set.
Now I am setting her under eyes as well as highlighting with a lighter than skin tone shade under her eyes. Normally I will do both a cream and powder contour, but since this client wanted a more natural skin finish, we only did a powder contour. I go through phases with how I like to apply blush. At this time, I like to use a smaller powder brush to apply it. There's really no rules when applying makeup. Whatever you feel works, all that matters is you get the outcome you wanted. This mascara technique I learned from my makeup teacher. She calls it wiggle wiggle flick. Most clients are very uncomfortable having their eyes open for mascara. With this technique, they don't have to. And bonus, it gets the bottom lashes at the same time. After you put on lashes, advise your client to keep their eyes shut while the glue dries. If they open their eyes prematurely, the lashes may lose their placement and start to come off. When you have them open their eyes, always use the side of your pinky under their eyes to pull so that any glue separates from the top and bottom. I tend to bring bottom shadow only halfway under on most of my bridal clients. They want their eyes to look as open and awake as possible. Bringing shadow and liner all the way under tends to make them look smaller. One, 